Another short, uh, short one about a specific theorem called the Cayley-Hamilton theorem, named after two mathematicians, Cayley and Hamilton. And uh, I'm not going to prove it. The proof is rather subtle, rather subtle. Um, but I want to uh, set it up and then, and then write it down. Okay. So suppose we have a polynomial. Let's call it f of x. So f of x is a polynomial a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a 2 x squared plus a 1 x plus a 0. This is a polynomial of degree n. Do you agree? Okay. So what does it mean, and this is in fact the definition, what does it mean to substitute a matrix into a polynomial? Okay, it just means by definition that whenever you see x, you plug in the matrix. So it's just a n. This is a scalar times a to the power n, and we know how to raise a, a matrix to the power n, right? It's just a times a times a n times. In fact, if a is diagonalizable, we know a shortcut of how to do it. That was the theorem in the previous lesson, right? plus a n minus 1, a to the power n minus 1, plus dot dot dot, a to a squared, plus a 1 a, plus a 0. But this doesn't compile, right? Because these are all matrices, and this is a, a scalar, a 0 i, exactly. i is a to the power 0. Good? Make sense now? So f of a is a matrix is a matrix, which is precisely the matrix plugged into the polynomial. Make sense? Right? OK. And for an operator, for an operator, if t is an operator from v to v, I can do the same thing. I can plug it into the polynomial. And what do I get? I get a n t to the power n. What is t to the power n, by the way? What, what operation does, does this correspond to? It, 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 so what's t to the power 2? It's t times t, but it's the multiplication of operators, which is composition. Remember? Yeah. Multiplication of operators is composition. So this is t of t of t of t of t of t of v. OK, it's composition. Good? That's important to emphasize. So plus a n minus 1 t to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 a squared t squared plus a 1 t plus again a 0 times i where now i is the identity operator. Okay, So plugging in an operator into a polynomial gives us again an operator. Good? Everybody? So just let's write that this is here uh, the product is a uh, composition of operators. Right? We know that. I'm just uh, reminding you. Okay? So let's do a little example, a short example. Let's take A, example. Let's take A to be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay? Um, the characteristic polynomial of this matrix, P of alpha, the characteristic polynomial, is what? Is the determinant of A minus alpha I. 1 minus alpha, 2, 3, 2 minus alpha, right? And we already know, we already know what this is. We found it in a previous example. This, oh, well, maybe just let's write it. It's 1 minus alpha times 2 minus alpha minus 6. And this equals alpha squared minus 3 alpha minus 4. Okay, we, we, we just did it in a previous example. Remember this matrix? I think this was our first baby example of how to find 
eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and, and from this we, we extracted the, the general theorem. Remember? Okay. What happens when we take A and substitute it into its own characteristic polynomial? Okay. So what is P of A? So it's A squared minus 3A minus 4I. Do you agree? Right? I substituted A into its polynomial. And I get, let's see what I get. I get 1, 2, 3, 2 squared, so times itself, minus 3 times 1, 2, 3, 2, minus 4i, 4, 0, 0, 4. Do you agree? Good. This equals, here I do need to do something, so it's 1 minus 6, negative 5, uh, 2 minus 4, negative 2, 3 minus 6, negative 3, and 6 minus 4, 2. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, the, what, what? Where are the you were doing a determinant. Oh, 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 I'm so, sorry, 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 sorry. And you're sitting there, just quiet, enjoying me making a fool out of myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So what is it? 1 plus 6, right? Help me out here. 1 plus 6, that's a 7. Does everybody agree that this is a 7? Sorry. 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4. 6. Right? What? 2 plus 4. 6. Everybody agree that it's a 6. My self-confidence is now completely messed up. 3 plus 6, 9. And 6 plus 4, 10. Good? Okay, and now I hope I can multiply a matrix by 3 correctly. 3, 6, 9, 6. And minus 4, 0, 0, 4. Do you agree? And now let's finally subtract the matrices. So I have 7 minus 3 minus 4, 0. 6 minus 6, 0 minus 0, 0. 9 minus 9 minus 0, 0. And 10 minus 6, 4 minus 4, 0. Do you agree? Now I have my self-confidence back because I knew that was what I'm going to get. And how did I know what I was going to get? That's the theorem. So a theorem, this is the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Says the following. Let A be, let A N I N, A N by N be a matrix with characteristic polynomial uh, P of alpha. Then, if you take A and plug it into P of alpha, P of A, you always get the zero matrix. Every matrix solves is a root of its characteristic polynomial as a polynomial in matrices. Okay? Clear? I'm not going to prove it again. Uh, again, I'm not going to prove it. The proof is somewhat, uh, somewhat subtle. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at, at this, as, as at the theoretic level. Okay? I mean, we did an example of how we calculate this sort of stuff. But I'm going to leave this statement as a theoretic statement. Um, it can be used to prove other sort of statements regarding matrices and powers of matrices and, and so on. Um, but we're really just kind of collecting the end details of this topic, and I don't want to spend more time on, on this issue. So this wraps up our discussion, our pretty long discussion of the whole topic of diagonalization and eigenvalues and eigen 
vectors and characteristic polynomials and so on, uh, algebraic multiplicity, geometric multiplicity and everything, we have one further topic remaining for this uh, course, which we're going to do very briefly, very briefly, and that's uh, um, going to be next time. Questions? Okay, so thank you.